Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is for the Martial Combat Featherweight Super Fight Championship belt. In the blue corner, from China, it's Liu Kuo Chen! Martial Combat 11, it's a special night for Liu, a double main event. This one is the second of them. Liu Kuo Guan from China, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. That means a lot, Alvin. Yes. Um, he's, uh, he trains under Pedro Small, who's also a uh, black belt of Gracie Humaita. He's also a wrestler, and he has a Sanda background. So this guy's a complete fighter. He'd be going up against a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, though. In the red corner, from Brazil, and now representing Singapore. Get out of your seats and cheer for Leandro Issa. Brodinho! One of our very earliest winners in martial combat. In fact, we've seen him twice before. Both times he was a winner. And this walk to the cage, wearing headphones, bouncing to the beat that he's hearing in his own head is something we've seen before. Leandro Issa from Brazil, better known, Alvin, as Rodinho. Yes, uh, Leandro Issa is a world champion of jiu-jitsu. He's a very experienced MMA fighter. You, know, you don't want to go to the ground with these kind of fighters. Mundial level, you know, champions, and we have Gordino in his corner. It's going to be very hard to go to the ground with these kinds. World champion speaks for itself, but he's been around at the top level for such a long time. Dozens, literally dozens of Brazilian titles. Yes, and look at the ears on him. You can, you can really tell that he spent a lot of time on the yeah. mat. He's taken a few <laughs> blows. His ears have been grabbed and mangled a few times. A hardened individual and a very nice fella. Yes. Actually, most of the guys in the ball MMA are very, very nice people. Yes, agreed. He's got the backing of that Evolve team again from Singapore. And you can see close up that physique is something to be proud of. He's worked himself into very good condition once again. And he's up again a man against a man in equally good shape, I would say. Quite a different body type. Now, you have to know that Liu Gu Quan is a provincial wrestling champion. So Leandro Isap to make his jiu-jitsu work would have to take Li Guo Quan down. So let's see if you know Li Guo Quan has you know good takedown defense, which he should have being a wrestling champion for China. Ude Joshi, your winning championship bout of the evening, proudly brought to you by Resorts World Sentosa and ESPN Star Sports. Also, a very special thank you to our beer sponsor, Summit Beer. This contest is scheduled for five rounds of five minutes each and is conducted under the unified rules as sanctioned by the Asian MMA Federation and the WMAF. Our cage side medical staff and doctors are from the Changi Sports Medical Center. The judges for this fight are Josh Robinson from Singapore, Julio Abakita from the United States, and Joey Lipperton from the Philippines. And your referee for the fight, Mr. Steven Persava. And now, martial combat fans, it's that time. Let's get ready for combat! Introducing and fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a champion wrestling Champion from China and is a member of one of China's top MMA teams. He stands at 170 centimeters tall and weighs in at 66 kilograms. He has a professional MMA record of three wins and one loss. Hailing from China is Liu Guo Chuan. Very impressive physical specimen.
fighting out the red corner. You first saw this man explode onto the MMA scene in May, and he has since gone on to register two more victories. And inside this martial combat cage, he stands at 175 centimeters tall and weighs in at 65 kilograms. He is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu world champion and has an MMA record of eight wins and two losses from Brazil, but now proudly living in this island jewel from Evil MMA, it's Leandro Yessa! Brandino! A familiar, boisterous ovation for an evolved fighter here in Singapore. Plenty of support for him, Brazilian he may be. He's really been adopted by the island state of Singapore, which is where we are this evening. As we see all the fans of Leandro coming out here to support him. Okay, guys, this is super fight. Let's take a good fight. Listen to my instructions at all times and protect yourselves at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it. Touch gloves. Sit back, guys, wait for my start. Championship contest means that we've got five five-minute round, so that's 25 minutes of action, ladies and Ready. gentlemen, with a mere four back. minutes left in between, one minute at a time, rather them than me. Okay, if you notice, Vigo Kwan has a low, started off with a low stance, he's anticipating Leandro's sh shot inside. Gets in a good little right kick though, it's a sharp one, but then in comes the left, head high from Brodinho. Lands a good left hand as well and drives his opponent to the mat. Yeah, nice. Nice takedown by Leandro. Now he has side mount. Now Ligu Kwan should let go of his head. If you're on the bottom, your goal is to make space, not pull the guy closer to you. And Leandro's just waiting to actually go for a mount here, just going cross face on the guy. Both of See, there's a lot of pressure on, of his, on his left shoulder into the neck of Ligu Kwan. He's putting a lot of pressure there. He's going for the mount, and he gets a full mount. He might have a head and arm choke here already. This early, he might have a head and arm choke. Gets an arm across, and it looks like it might be over soon. Ligu Kwan's prepared, it looks like he's about to tap with his right arm. There, and he yes. has done. It's another quick ending, and Liu, with his head in his hands, can't believe it. Rodinho, on the other hand, is up on the top of the cage, pumping his chest making pictures of hearts in the air to his adoring fans. It's a quick finish to our championship contest and another emphatic one. A beautiful setup from Deandre Issa, set up with some kicks, went for the takedown, got the mount, eventually the head and arm choke, an excellent submission victory for Leandro Brodino Issa from Evolve MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, with three minutes and 52 seconds remaining in round number one, and by way of submission due to arm triangle, your winner in the red corner, Leandro Issa Brodinho! Leandro Issa, three fights in martial combat in 2010, three wins. How does it feel to have that belt around your waist? I feel very happy. I train a lot for get this belt. Now I got it, I will keep it for a long time.
Can you describe to us the hold that you had on your opponent to finish it? Yeah, I got the side control and I went to the arm triangle. When the, I squeeze, I feel he, when he's brief, he almost tap and I keep and I got it. Leandro, a lot of support here in the ring and out of the ring. Three times a winner here in Singapore. Come on, give your fans a message. They want to hear from you. I want to say thank you for all the evolved students. Okay. For my trainer's partner, my coach, PTJ coach, my Thai coach. I'm going to say thank you for everybody because nobody can be champion alone. And I have like great team, Evolve, Evolve family. Thank you guys. And see you, see you guys tomorrow, the after party at the Stereo Lab. Camila, I love you! Ladies and gentlemen, your final winner of the night, Leandro Issa. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for all the fighters tonight.